Joe, job done today. Were you happy with what you saw? I thought we were outstanding first half. Um, and I think people will think I'm being a bit flippant when I say it. Today was a massive banana skin. They're obviously got a big game coming up for them on the Tuesday in the FA Trophy. They're a side that are always in games. They're never far away, albeit coming out on the wrong side of results. And they probably turn up today, you know, with nothing to lose as, it, as such, but at the same time fighting for their lives. And there's an expectancy that we're just going to turn up and win, which is not the case. And it's never, ever going to be the case at this level. I think it's important to remember that. But I felt first half, we started like a train. We were aggressive in the press. Won the ball back high up a lot of times. Could have been 2 nil up after four or five minutes, but stuck with it. I thought the front four were a handful all day long. Caused them all sorts of problems. Even with um, Woodsy going off with a slight injury didn't hinder us with Millsy coming on and doing a great job. But from back to front, we were excellent. I don't think they had a shot on target in the second half for sure. And no, I mean, to go in 2 nil up was great. And then we managed the game really, really well second half. So very, very pleasing. Was that the intention today to go after them, particularly with the two wide players you picked? They were both very direct and pacey. Yeah, well, we. the thing is, we, for, as a staff, we enjoy watching the group at the minute because when we do play with an intensity and when we get after teams and we counter press, we look a good side. Um, we've got a lot of pace up front. We link up and our combination play in the final third at times is really, really good. Today, on another day, could be four, five or six. But to get the two goals when we did, I think the first goal was... Nicely worked down the left-hand side. Ethan put a great ball in. Knowles, he's finished it really, really well. But then we sort of stuck with it. Um, and then obviously to get the second one before half-time is massive as well. Great to score off a set-piece. Great ball in by Deji and a great header. But throughout the game, I think we won the ball high up a lot and forced them long. And I know, I mean, their manager was screaming at them to try and play and we were stopping that a lot of the time. And we looked a really, really good side first half. And then second half was about making sure we didn't come away from it, making sure that we limited chances and opportunities for them in our final third or defensive third should I say so um no nah, really pleasing and sometimes it can become too easy and you might just make a slip somewhere along the line but you you saw it out pretty easily didn't you I think it's important as a group that we never have that arrogance of thinking that a game's too easy and the gaffer does hammer it into the boys that you've got to earn the right in every second of every game against every opposition and that's as a staff like we've prepared for Bishop Storford the same we would for a Scunthorpe or a Tamworth it's important that you respect what they've got and um, their strengths and then obviously areas you can try and exploit and even today they've come with a game plan to try and frustrate us and make the game difficult but obviously the way we approached I think we were really front footed in what we did and you know we created a good energy in terms of the way we were without the ball we were relentless at times in the first 15-20 minutes and you know it's about picking up results at the end of the day if you can play well while doing it that's great um, and I think today we did on the whole play really really well but it's about trying to win as many games as we can to get to where we want to get to. He only got 11 minutes of regulation time, but Adam Marriott's a very welcome sign and given Jacob's absence. He's a great guy. Um, the thing is with Maz, he's obviously someone that we know really, really well from our time at Kings Lynn. Obviously myself on a personal level, I've stayed in touch with him sort of the whole way along. and He's just the right type of person you want around a dressing room because of the way he approaches training, the way he approaches games. He's really, really calm and professional in what he does. I know he'll lift the group with the type of personality he is as well. And... You know, we've got to make sure we look after him so he can build up his match fitness and stuff. I mean, you know, he wanted to be here as well, which was great. Um, Bromley were great in terms of allowing us to have him and the way they have done it got done quite quickly, which was good. And then it's about building up his minutes. And you could see even in the 10, 15 minutes he was on, you know, his touch and his awareness of what's going on around him. Obviously, he tried the little dink from 40 yards as well. You know, a player of his class has got that in his locker. So if we can get the ball into him in and around the box, you know, the fans will see what he's all about. And it's another option, nice one to have, isn't it? Because you've, uh, you're obviously missing Jacob, but you've got some other strikers who are keen to make an impression. Yeah, well, I think Kelsey Mooney today, minus a goal, that was all he was missing, really. I thought he was exceptional in terms of his hold-up play and his runs. Nolsey, I think, out of possession, that's the best he's been. He, again, took his goal well, made some good runs down the side. And, you know, I think Moon's he just needs one almost to go in off his backside, to be honest. I think we, we probably five, ten minutes before half-time, probably the move of the game, Ends with him having a half volley from 15, 16 yards out that hits the underside of the bar. And we're all desperate for that to go in for him. But we've got some really good options up there, different variations and combinations. Wide players in Deji, Mickey and Sam that um, cause problems as well. So we've got a lot of options. And it's just about trying to pick the right ones for each game and um, yeah, trying to keep adding points to the total. Is Woodsy a concern? Is that long term or is it just precautionary? Um, touch wood precautionary. I think what's good about a Woodsy is that he's old enough and experienced enough to know his body and 
listen, the amount of volume of games we've got coming up and the quality we've got on the bench, someone like him is sensible enough to go, look, this might go here. Um, obviously, it's hopefully just a little bit of a tweak and it'll be all right. Um, but it's important, I think, if you're maybe a little bit more young and ex inexperienced at that point, you try and play your way through it because you don't want to come off and then leave yourself out long term. But he's sensible enough to let us know. And listen, we've got the luxury at this football club. So someone like Zach Mills sat there on the bench who's more than capable of going in there and doing the role. So there's no point in taking any risks because of the level of games we've got coming. And the next challenge is Darlington. Terrific away win for them today. Skewed a little bit, I would imagine, by playing 10 men for 79 minutes and then nine men for the latter stages. But... A resounding away win, a bit of confidence for them and a side that probably unlike Stortford really are well in touch with the pack. I think what's important for everybody to remember, and it's not just a cliche thing, is that these teams are fighting for their lives. And I've seen a lot of things said in different places that, you know, we've got a favourable run and uh, quotes of games that we should win. You've got no right to win any game. You have to go and earn it. And Darlington are a, a good side. They've changed a little bit since Steve Watson's gone in there and They'll try and play. They've got some players that are very experienced at this level and they are scrapping and they're right in it to get themselves out of trouble. And we know you don't go to South Shields and regardless of whether they are 10 men, 9 men or 5 men, if you're going up there and beating them 4-0, you're in a bad side. And we need to make sure that all of us collectively, you know, players, staff and fans are all on the same side and really kicking this team on. Today, first 15, 20 minutes, I could hear the drum and the fans were noisy. But when them games do lull a little bit, that's when we need you most. And... I sort of plead with everybody in these next three, four, five, six games going into the rest of the running, please get behind the lads at every stage of the game. Keep encouraging them, keep pushing them on because Darlington's a massive, massive game and there is no foregone conclusion for us whatsoever. We respect them, we know what they're all about and we've got to be right at it if we're going to get another result. But at the same time, we feel we've got a good group in here and if we can keep building the momentum and make sure we keep picking up results and even if you go to Warrington and draw and then pick up a three in the next one, make sure you back up draws with wins we won't be too far away. Uh, and just finally, we've not had a chance to talk to the manager about his new contract yet, but presumably that means you and Baz are going to be around a bit longer as well. Is that something that you welcome? Um, yeah, well, unless Gaffer gets rid of us. Um, nah, listen, the, from personal perspective, I'll only speak from my, my own opinion. He's an outstanding guy to work with and for. Um, I've learned so much from him as a young coach, trying to learn more about the game and get more experience. And I'm very grateful to him for what he's given me. But beyond anything else, I know what he does to address him. I know the philosophy he tries to implement and, you know, what he's done in even here in the sort of 18 months he's been here from where we started to where we are now is unrecognisable. And he's a big believer in helping kick lads on. And I know the lads think a lot of him as we do as a staff and we enjoy our time here. We want to create something and it's not just about this season. We all know what we want to do. Um, but beyond anything else, you know, we want to keep pushing this club on in every aspect. So he deserves that. And yeah, hopefully we can keep kicking on with some results this season, going into future seasons to try and create a positive football club from top to bottom.